Google DeepMind is hosting a Nano Banana Hackathon, which is valid only for the next 48 hours. And I think we have already lost two hours of it. So I thought I'll make a very quick video explaining you about this hackathon, how you can win some prize because the prize has got some generous APA credits and also share some resources about how you can have an edge over somebody else. But the main point is this is only a two day hackathon. You can participate from anywhere in the world that Kaggle allows you to do it. And also that there are a lot of internet resources available so that it's easy for you to score a win. First of all, let's start with the prize money. The prize money has got a bunch of tracks, but the main track here is that uh, if you are in the top 50 submission right now, you can see that there are 99 participants already by the time I'm making the video. But if you're in the top 50 participants, top 50 submissions from the judges, then you get $5,000 in Gemini APA credit, $1,000 in file credit and 11, 11 million, um, uh, 11 labs credit, which is like $2,000 worth. So it's a pretty generous APA credit on top three platforms where you can go build media content, generative media content. So definitely if you have time, take it seriously. I'm not sure if I would have time, but um, definitely like if you're passionate about this, you should make time for it and then do it. Now, what is this hackathon? This hackathon is about how you can use Nano Banana, which is Google Gemini 2.5 image flash preview. So Gemini 2.5 flash image preview, which is also known as Nano Banana. This is a state of the art editing model, particularly more than in uh, generation editing model. I've already got a video about Nano Banana. I'll link it in the YouTube description. But the main thing here is that how you can use the APA and build something. In fact, if you want to use file, you can use file as well. If you want to use 11 labs, you can use 11 labs as well to combine all these things. Not necessarily. If you want to be on the file track, there is a file track. If you want to be on the file track, then you can do that with file. If you want to be on the 11 labs track, then you can do it on uh, that particular thing. But if you just want to be on the general track, then you can like, doesn't matter if you are going to use them. But the main thing here is that how you can use Gemini 2.5 flash image preview API and then build something that is so cool that Google will put you on the top 50. Now, what does it even mean? What does the so cool means? I'll give you a very simple example. So if you see, go here on this particular page, Google has already built a couple of examples. So you can just go here and then see some examples are there. And I'm going to open one of those examples here. So if you go click this, this is going to open pick shop, which is built on top of Google AI studio. And then you can see how somebody has built something creative using nano banana or Gemini 2.5 flash image preview. So it says API AI powered photo editing simplified. So you can go upload an image. So I'm going to upload an image from my computer. Just go with the download. So this is one of my recent thumbnails. I'm going to upload it here. So it has got a bunch of options, retouch, crop, adjust filters. Now the everything here is happening is using nano banana. So first click a point in the image. I want to click a point in the image. I'm going to say, can you add or maybe like change the um, change the specs to maybe like Apple Vision Pro. Send this, you ideally it should uh, work and then get back to us. So th you have to build something that looks like this. And there are a couple of resources for you to do it. First of all, Google is sharing the get your API key and generate your first image. And it's ridiculously easy to use the API key. So this is all the code you need to do text to image. So you're installing Google Gen AI application. If you're doing it in Python, then you have got the Gen AI SDK. You have to add the relevant, uh, let's say keys, the secrets in your current environment. This is your prompt. This is where you've got the image and prompt goes here. That's it. You have got the final generated image. So it's super easy for image generation and also super easy for image editing. Nothing fancy at all. But let's say you don't want to go through this. I mean, even if you don't want to go through this, you want to start with something very basic. I've got a solution for you. But meanwhile, yeah, you can see here. So it just simply added uh, the Apple Vision Pro to Tim Cook because we used Nano Banana here. So what you can do if you don't want to use the API route at the start, like if you don't want to go there and then do it. And another thing I forgot to mention is that Google is giving you free API credit. So for the next 48 hours, the free tier API you can use and then it is going to give you 100 generations per day. So you're going to they're going to allow 100 requests per project per day. And I mean, I'm not going to here tell you that you can use multiple uh, email IDs and get multiple requests, but that's something that everybody knows at this particular point. So what you can do is you can go to Google AI studio and uh, I'll link this in the Google AI studio. There is a place where you can build apps. Okay. So if you go here, you can build apps, click that build apps. 
then you'll be taken to this particular screen. And here you can actually build the image. So you can see here Gemini 2.5 flash images used. Gemini 2.5 flash images used. So you can either click one of these or you can just simply go here and then say, I build a simple AI, a uh, simple Photoshop clone, but that uses Gemini 2.5 flash image, AKA Nano banana. Now the best part about this is it is going to build the application for you. It is going to include the API key for you. It is also going to let you download it for you. So, I mean, you can download the code and then improve it. So what this hackathon wants you to do at the end of this hackathon is you need to have three things ready. One, you need to have a video demo. You need to have a public project link. The video should be on Twitter or, you know, YouTube or somewhere where somebody can access without authentication. Second, you need to have a public project link somewhere. It is hosted somewhere. Somebody doesn't need to use the paywall. It could be on AI studio or it could be like Vercel somewhere you want. And then final thing is you need to have a write up very brief write up maximum 200 words. And the write up should say that what you do, do, how did you use the API and why was it central? I mean, a lot, lot of people are going to use Gemini API, Gemini or um, chat GPT for this. So now the judging criteria is innovation and war factor. Now this is where a lot of people are going to struggle. See um, presentation quality is fine. The potential impact and utility, you can always figure out what kind of use case it is. It's a creative use case helps in marketing or educational. You can figure out the technical execution and functionality, but the wow factor is something that a lot of people would try to figure out because that has 40% weightage. So my solution for that is the easiest thing you can do is you can go to Twitter and search for Nana Banana. And this guy here, Alexander Chen works for Google creative director. And I mean, you can try out a couple of like, you can either search the entire Twitter or I would say just go to Alexander Chen's profile. So you can see every best Nana Bonana creation is on Alexander Chen's uh, Twitter timeline. So you can see, you know, you can take somebody's uh, photo, select a part of the image, convert into like a hologram VR kind of a thing. This looks so cool. I mean, you can say that it has got utility in creative, but there are a lot of different use cases that you can just simply get from Alexander Chen and then do it. And like this, there are a lot of Google employees. I'm not going to give you all the names, but you can either simply search for Nana Bonana and find the use cases, or you can target these Google DeepMind use um, employees and then see what they have done. And you can simply replicate that and then make it as a submission. See, you can have multiple Kaggle profiles. I mean, who's going to ask you to do it? like if you want to do it, if you want to maximize at the end of the day, Google employees are going to judge you and you need to tap into all these categories, war factor, technical execution, potential impact and utility presentation skill. And they've got the special technology prices where you have to use 11 laps or file, and then you're going to get prizes based on that. But it's very easy, uh, in my opinion, to score into the top 50 because it's top 50 prizes. It's not top one or top two, top 50 prizes. And the competition has already started by this time. I think by the time the video comes out, it's like two hours gone. And um, final submission is September 7th, 11.59 PM PT Pacific time. And uh, they have the judging period for uh, nine days or 10 days. And then finally, the winners are going to be announced. All the required resources are available here and you can use it. But if you want to do like how I suggested you, then you can just go to Google AI studio and then do it um, like uh, start using it. So it says upload an image. We gave a very simple prompt as you might have guessed. We gave a prompt saying build a simple Photoshop clone that uses this. And um, let's let's see, I, I can say add a um, change the text here to nano banana. Okay, start over. I should, oh, I mean, start over means starting over. Oh, stupid of me. Um, change the human to look like a cat. I hope uh, when I apply for a job at Apple, um, I'm not going to be rejected for this particular reason, but you can see here, you can just go download the code or deploy the app so that anybody can use it, which is what the public app is. Oh, this, this is a Tim cat. It's a cute cat. That's great. Okay. So you can build anything like this, um, using, you know, like, um, the use cases that you find on internet, especially like from a profile, like Alexander Shane, a lot of creative use cases are available with Nana Banana and just, just go and build and win some 
APA credits. When you if you win APA credits, please let me know. I would love to know it. I'll I'll be extremely happy to know that. I don't think I would have time to um, participate in this, but I'll be very happy if one of us um, participates and wins uh, some APA credits. I hope this was helpful. All the required resources will be in the YouTube description. See you in another video. Happy prompting.